Hi, my name is Liam Thompson. I'm a student advisor and I'm part of the guidance team. I'm here to tell you all about student funding. Now, what funding you can get will depend on your own personal circumstances and what course you're doing. If you're studying under HNC level and are aged 16 or 17, you will normally be assessed for EMA. That's the Education Maintenance Allowance. That's £30 per week. This is income assessed against parental income for the last tax year. If you're aged 18 to 24, you will normally be assessed for the parentally dependent bursary. This has a maximum weekly amount of £84.30 and again, this is income assessed against parental income for the last tax year. If you're 25 or over, you will be assessed for the self-supporting bursary. Now, the maximum for this is a weekly amount of £106.43 and if you're living with a partner, it will be income assessed against their income for the last tax year. If you are under 25, you can still qualify as a self-supporting student if you meet any of the following. You have supported yourself through benefits or earnings for a 36 month period. You're estranged from your parents. You have a child dependent on you. You have had your own address for the last three years. If you're care experienced within the UK, for example, you have been looked after by your local authority, you have been in kinship care, have been in foster care, or had any other experience with the care system, you may qualify for our care experience bursary, which is £202.50 per week. I strongly encourage you to inquire about this if you think this might apply to you. When you apply for funding, you're automatically assessed for travel costs and course materials. To qualify for travel costs, you do need to live more than two miles away from your campus. How to apply for funding. When you accept your conditional offer or unconditional offer for your course, you should have then received an email with instructions on how to activate your funding account. For any students that are on benefits out there, I would encourage you to please speak to your benefits office because coming to study full time can sometimes have an effect on your benefits. So please make sure that you do that. For any students studying at HNC or above, the majority of your funding will be applied for via SAS. Their SAS website is sas.gov.uk. That's saas.gov.uk. When you're applying, make sure you apply for tuition fees. There is the option to take a loan if you want it, bursaries, loan parent grant, and also they have their care experience bursary as well. Other, um, other funding that's available via the college. Students can apply for registered childcare costs towards timetable classes and mandatory placements. This fund is income assessed. With this fund, we take the student's income and if they're living with a partner, we take their income into account as well. Please bear in mind, the college may not cover all of your childcare costs. Another fund available to students is the discretionary fund. Now this is a fund to help students who are experiencing financial hardship. So please, if at any point in the year you find yourself in a difficult financial situation, please come and speak to us in the guidance team. To apply for the discretionary fund, it is now online for the first time this year. To apply for it, you do need to speak to the guidance team first. So make sure to do that. You'll get the email address at the end. The guidance team also offers support in UCAS, JobZone. We have our own website, jobzone.edinburghcollege.ac.uk. We also offer support in money management, accommodation and homelessness. If you have any inquiries about anything I've mentioned at all, please email us at guidance at edinburghcollege.ac.uk. Thank you.